I feel like I always have to check in with y'all to make sure like, is what I'm doing crossing the line of exploiting? Exploiting what? Exploiting grandma by filming. Nah, she even said, yo, man, this is, I like this. I love this shit, man. Keep this shit going. Everything that she's saying now, I've heard her say it 30 years ago. When you make money, make sure you save, one. Make sure you give some back to your family, two. And three, make sure you eat, man. That's yeah. the three things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is crazy. This, uh, it sounds like I'm your accountant. But uh, before the grandma shit, before all, even before you start posting her, you were already like doing well with YouTube. It's just the perception because people are just, might just know you for that. Right, right, right. Which I understand. Yeah. You're not going to take the time to like watch my thousands of videos that I put online. There's a lot of them. Yeah. And and now that, now that you have like a million followers on YouTube, it trickles down to all the older videos. So like you're probably seeing residual income. It's just like music, bro. Like people send me messages saying like, yo, I lost my grandma last year and I watch your videos because it reminds me of her. Or I also used to take care of my grandma 10 years ago. I always felt alone and watching your videos makes me realize that not only you, but there's a community of people in your comment section that were also caregivers. So th please continue to make videos for fellow caregivers and shedding a light on the things that we do. So that's why I know that because I'm in it. And I understand that people don't uh, from the outside might not be in the comment section or seeing my messages like that. So I can I can understand where people are coming from when they're like, yo, like, are you taking care of your grandma just for business? 